The Golden Bears returned to the road to face yet another top-ranked team. This time, it was number 12, Washington, a team with a 17-game home winning streak, the longest in the Pac-10. But the Huskies' home dominance ended that day as Kyle Bowler again led the charge, throwing for 266 yards, a career-high five touchdowns, and once again named Pac-10 Player of the Week. Receiver and Igber on the flea flicker, back to Bowler, and he throws way down all alone to McConan. Touchdown, Bears! McConan all alone behind the defense. They bought the flea flicker completely. Bowler, and he's going to send it all the way down to the goal line. Open man, touchdown, Bears! Svoboda. The tight end for the Bears is so alone, it was like he's in a different stadium. And the Bears have another score. The Cal defense harassed Cody Pickett, the nation's number two passer, all day, forcing two interceptions and logging five sacks. As the sun set on Husky Stadium, the Golden Bears celebrated a 34-27 victory in the Pac-10's toughest road venue. They all have the will to win, but the will to prepare to win is what they have to have, and that's key. And that's something that we're going to make sure that they have, the will to prepare to win. After dropping a two-point game to USC on a controversial call, the Bears returned to Berkeley for homecoming weekend. Bear fans and alumni from all over California returned to campus to soak up the Cal game day experience. On football Saturdays, the city bustles with the anticipation of another kickoff in Strawberry Canyon, named the best place to watch college football by Sports Illustrated. Early in the morning, pre-game parties are set up and tailgating Cal football fans take over Berkeley as they prepare for an afternoon at Memorial Stadium. That weekend, the homecoming crowd and a national TV audience watched Cal and UCLA battle head-to-head -head for in-state bragging rights. The Bears jumped to an early lead. Bowler, a three-step drop, throws deep middle. He's got a receiver over the middle at the five into the end zone. Toboda, touchdown Bears. 24-yard touchdown pass, ran right down the right hash mark and scores. But both teams' prolific scoring attacks took a backseat to a defensive battle, a battle won by the Bears. The California defense limited UCLA to just 29 yards rushing and a paltry 226 yards of total offense. Cal held the Bruins to their lowest point total of the season and posted seven quarterback sacks. Cal defensive lineman Tom Canada was named Pac-10 Player of the Week as he logged two sacks and forced two Bruin fumbles. Late in the game, the Golden Bear defense staged a heroic goal line stand to preserve the 17-12 win. Chara with a pitch to Ebel, cuts back to his right, sweeps the corner, and runs into trouble and is dropped by Hosey back at the six. Second and goal from the seven. On the ground again. Inside the five, down to the four-yard line, tripped up Tyler Ebel. There's the snap. Kick is blocked! The kick is blocked! They don't get anything! Can you believe it? 7.54 to go. A goal line stand by the Bears after a block punt that put the ball at the two, and UCLA gets nada. From there, the Cal faithful stormed the field in appreciation. I'm going to put together a staff that is going to care about the young men both on and off the field, that are great teachers, that are interested in their academics, that are interested in these kids, how they grow up, and that we can make an impression on their character. Refreshed after a week break from football, the Bears found themselves on the road again to face yet another ranked team in Arizona State. As they had all year, Cal more than met the challenge, and in front of another nationally televised audience, the Golden Bears drubbed the Sun Devils with a 55-point scoring assault. 
Kyle Bowler matched his career high with five touchdown passes and for a third time was the Pac-10 Player of the Week. Now Bowler tries to dump it off to Aper. Aper sprints to the end zone. Touchdown! Scoring came from all three Golden Bear units as safety Namdi Asamwa intercepted a screen pass and raced 85 yards for the score. He will go the distance! What a turnaround! And special teams recorded a block punt for a score. And there's a block punt by California. It is picked up and running for the touchdown. For the third time on the year, the Bears reign victorious over a top 25 team on the road. We're going to play four quarters from snap to whistle or as long as it takes to win. The kids are going to play very, very hard. But we're going to be explosive on offense. Um, we're going to be multiple in our sets, whether it be two back, single back, no backs. And, um, and we're going to be able to run the football and throw the football. They call it the big game. And for 105 years, California and Stanford have battled for the rights to the ax. When game day arrived, 72,000 Cal fans packed Memorial Stadium to see the Bears finish their winning season by recapturing the axe. After this game, we all look each other in the eye and we know that we held the rope all season long. Very proud of you. Seniors, you've done a great job. Love you all. Let's get after it. Our house, our axe, let's get after it. The Bears left no doubt who ruled the day as they jumped to a 23-7 halftime lead. Spike going deep to the end zone. Touchdown. Bowler's going to throw. Steps back in the pocket. Has lots of time. Now lost it for the end zone. He's got a receiver. Touchdown Bears. LaShawn Ward has his second touchdown reception of the game. Mandarino and Aker in the eye. There's the Jones for the secondary. He is got Jones for touchdown time. When Jameel Powell opened the second half with a punt return touchdown, all the Cardinal could do was pray the game would end quickly. Some early group, and now he's gone. He's to the 40, 45, 50, down the sideline. He's to the 30, he's to the 20, 10, 5, touchdown Bears! Stanford and the ABC TV audience knew they were in bear territory when with 11 seconds still on the clock, the Cal faithful stormed the field to celebrate with their team the return of the ax and the greatest program turnaround in the country. This is the way to go out. The way, the way they wanted to go out with the victory and with the winning season and they can look at it and say, hey, we helped turn this program around because they can see that Jeff Tedford has it on the right path. We were the, the class that made it happen and helped turn it around. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Coach Tedford. The fans eating it up after a 30-7 awesome. victory. Here's the ass. Right back to Berkeley. Awesome job. I can't tell you how proud I am of you guys. Hard work. Like we talked about trust, trust level as we all got this thing started. You guys believe. Great season, seniors. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. You have a home here forever. You know that. Love you. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next?